Hey everyone, it's Gary here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Huddle and then comparing it to Soccer Pro. Now, I think most people would agree that Huddle is probably the undisputed leader when it comes to football software, but is it really the best for soccer? Now, I don't really care about football. I only care about soccer. So frankly, for this review, I'm going to look at how it works for soccer. I'm going to compare it to Soccer Pro, and then I'll let you make your decision as to whether you like Huddle for soccer, or after this review, will you rather have something like Soccer Pro that's built just for soccer. So when you first sign up for your account, and in this case, I've taken a free trial because, well, they don't have a free account. You have to pay $400 per team per year just to get your own account of Huddle. So I only have nine more days to do this on a 14 day trial, but I think I can get through it. So we'll keep going here pretty quickly. Now this is what you'll see when you first come into your account after you sign up for your trial with Huddle. And I'm assuming after you sign up for a paid account, it'll be the same. You'll have a sample video already preloaded into your account. And this is the screen you see. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is look at the tutorials because it really isn't fair to do a review on Huddle if I don't know how it works. So you'll see that I signed up for soccer. If you look over here in this corner, you'll see that that is a soccer ball. And when I went through the sign up process, I told them that I wanted to sign up for soccer. I think they figured it out because they put a soccer video into my account. So let's go check out the tutorials. And I think that you see f somewhat of an odd thing as soon as you get here. So now I come into Huddle Academy online classes and how to videos. I'm not quite sure what the difference is in these. Um, I'm gonna go to the how to video library. So let's take a look there. Well, this is where it gets odd right away because now I have volleyball. I don't care about volleyball. I have a soccer match. I have stats and basketball. More basketball, more volleyball, more basketball. And this looks like soccer finally. Okay, so that's a little weird. Um, I don't know why they would put me into a tutorial area where I have to sort through volleyball, basketball, soccer. Why not just show me soccer videos. I mean, if I come into Soccer Pro and I go to help videos, I get nothing but soccer tutorials. So I think right off the bat, when I look at the organization of the tutorials, well, I don't want to learn how to tag volleyball matches. Okay, I don't need to do that. I don't need to create clips for playlists for basketball. So these are all things I don't care about. I think that Huddle needs to do a little bit better job of organizing the tutorial. So when I sign up for a soccer account and I click on tutorials, I should come to uh, soccer tutorials. That seems pretty obvious. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here. I don't want to waste any more of your time looking at the different tutorials until I can break them down and then I'll start to come back and say okay look this is a soccer tutorial and learn how to use the system and then move on from there. All right this is Gary with our first review of Huddle and of course we started with the tutorials. I would say in this case that uh, Soccer Pro is going to get the check mark in the win category for having all the soccer videos in one location versus mixing, matching, and integrating with sports I frankly don't care about. All right, I'll see you in the next review. Bye now. Hey, it's Gary back, and I said I was going to end this tutorial. Now, what I did was I went back to this screen, and to be fair, I want to make sure that you understand that there actually is an organization of their tutorials. Now, why they have Huddle Academy and How To Video Library, it's kind of beyond me. I mean, why not just put them all together? It seems odd that you would break them down and then mix and match here when the Huddle Academy is actually organized in a much better way. You come into this screen and of course now you've got sport I don't care about, sport I don't care about, sport I don't care about, sport I do care about. So when I click here on soccer courses, I now get into soccer videos. So this is good. Uh, now all the things I need are, well, some of the things I need are here. 
I have to go another click deeper. So to get to the actual videos, I've got to do, what, four clicks deep? Click, 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 yeah, four clicks deep just to get to their video library. Um, but not the worst. Uh, they've got, you know, the videos here, season prep, it all starts with video, uploads and exchanges, your stats, your way. So it looks like a lot of what I need to know is already in the soccer courses. So I'll run through these a little bit more and I'll come back to you when I have some ideas about uh, how this is working and whether it's good, bad, and different and how it compares to Soccer Pro 4, soccer. All right, thanks, bye now.